let's say seven seven five six seven. Yes, of course. Our favorite. So sine uh, x raised to x squared. Uh, we cannot use any rule here other than applying natural log. So we have natural log y equals x squared times natural log of sine x. And now we can differentiate and get 1 over y, um, dy over dx, or y prime, equals, and this is a product, 2x times natural log sine x plus x squared times 1 over sine x times cosine x. I don't need the parentheses right now. Good. So finally, dy over dx. I multiply both sides by y, which is sine x raised to x squared. And I have to copy 2x natural log of sine x plus, this is cotangent, x squared cotangent x. And that is, that would be final. Any questions on uh, on this one? No, thank you. How about something like number nine? I know those are kind of tricky sometimes to get set up. Let's take a look at number nine. It really helps me when you say that because then it means that I, I really need to address it. So it really helps me a lot. So 14. Okay, so you said number nine. Number nine. Yes. Yeah, we did this problem in class. Let's do it again. So um, once I see 30 cubic feet per minute, I know that this must be a, a rate of change, must be a derivative. Obviously, this is a, a, the measurement unit for volume, and this is the measurement unit for time. So I know for sure that this must be it. So it forms, it forms a pile in the shape of a cone whose diameter and height are always equal. Diameter and height. So 2 radii equals the height at any point in time. So this is going to be used from the very beginning because this has not uh, doesn't change. How fast is the height, height of the pile increasing when the pile is? So we are asked to find this when the height is 10 feet. So we have to start with the volume of a cone and remember it's one-third of the volume of a cylinder, area of the base times the height. So I only want the function v to have only one variable in it. If I could get rid of uh, the radius. Yes, I can. From this relationship, the radius is h divided by 2. And I will replace it. And now I can confidently say that this is a function, volume is a function of um, one variable. Because it's pi over 3, r squared becomes h squared over 4 times h. Because when I replace r by h over 2, I have to square it and I get h squared over 4. So finally I get pi over 12 h to the third. I will differentiate with respect to time because this is a function of time and this is a function of time. So I differentiate the left hand side, I get dv over dt. I differentiate the right hand side, I bring 3 down and simplify times h squared times dh over dt. This I have, this I have, this is the only one I don't. 
and um, and then I plug in what I'm given. So the age over dt will be this over this. dv over dt, you cannot separate this. This is just one uh, a rate of change. Over pi over 4 times h squared. And we are told that h is 10 feet. So the numerator is 30. The denominator is pi over 4 times 10 squared, which is 100. And I'll simplify. And, um, and I flip. I can simplify here, too. So I get 6 over 5 pi. Measurement unit is the distance. We're talking about the rate of change of, this, of distance. So this must be in feet per minute. And I will approximate it. And I have 5. Careful. Please put parentheses around the denominator or you divide by 5 and you further divide by pi. So be careful. The calculator doesn't know that it has to produce. Uh, determine the product first and then divide 6 by that product. So 0.38 feet per minute. Feet per minute. Any questions? Next problem, any suggestions? Is homework finished for Saturday? I just have uh, one last section, the substitution, and then I'd be finished. I Very good. Finished. Can I help you with anything from there? Uh, or uh, or back to, to the final exam? Okay, what do we continue with? For myself, I'm a lot of questions until I sit down and start reviewing more material. Okay, do you uh, need any help with uh, with the last section in WebAssign? Do you want to work on anything from there? 
know, uh, I'll, I'll try it by hand, and then if I have any issues, I could bring it up on Thursday or Wednesday. Yeah, yeah. Or yeah. Wednesday. Or Wednesday. Yeah, or tomorrow if you want, if you have time, you know, I will invite everyone any, anywhere. Okay, then. So let's go back to the final. Any problem from the final? I got one from the final. Yes, please. It's a uh, question 14. Using the midpoint rule with four sub intervals. Excellent. To yes. The integral. Yes. So we have the oh. integral from 0 to 16 from x plus 1 to the third, tan to the square of x plus 3 dx. Uh, they uh, want four decimal places and four sub intervals. I'll split the interval into four subintervals from 0 to 16. So 16 minus 0 divided by 4 is 4. So this will be 4 and 8 and 12. So the midpoint then will be 2. The midpoint will be 6. The midpoint will be 10. And the midpoint will be 14. So this will be approximately equal to base times height plus base times height and so on and so forth. But the base is always the same. It's 4. I'm going to take it out. So this is be going to be f of 2 plus f of 6 plus f of 10 plus f of 14. This is it, but I have to put um, these numbers in the graphic calculator, 2, 6, 10, and 14 in the list. Clear everything you have in both lists. Oops. Okay. So 2, 4, 2, 6, 10, 14. 2, 6, 10, 14. And then highlight the top of list L2 and put in 4 multiplied by list L1 plus 1 to the third left parenthesis list L1 where all these numbers are plus 1 to the third power and then times tangent and the square root of list L1 and plus 3 and close the parenthesis outside. And then I press enter and I get all these numbers and now I just determine a one variable stats on list L2 just to give me the sum 1384 and they want uh, four decimal places 1384.7604 although we have absolutely no way of determining uh, the antiderivative of this function and calculated this integral exactly. No way. We can still come up with a very good approximation. Even with four subintervals. Imagine if we have 8 or 16 or 32, we will get a very good approximation. Could you go over the uh, how you did the list? Yes, the, um, yes, yes, yes. Yes, let's do that again. So let's go to stat. And we want to edit. So press enter. 
I'm going to delete everything I have because I want to do it again with you step by step, okay? So in list del 1, I want to put in just x values, 2, 6, 10, and 14. 2, enter, 6, enter, 10, enter, and 14, enter. This is what we have in list del 1, just the x values. What, what really changes here? X. Then go up to L2, highlight L2, and now put in a formula for L2. What is the formula? The square the four in front, left parenthesis, the function. But this is entire function in which I would like to put in, instead of x, I have to put in all these, L1 plus 1. So list L1. You have to go with second, and L1, you see it is right here in blue. So now you see it appears as L1. And then plus 1. Close the parenthesis. I may have made an error. I just realized that I didn't put enough parentheses. And I'm the queen of parentheses. And I didn't put enough parentheses, maybe. Sorry about that. Let's start from, from the beginning with L2. 4 is outside. Parentheses. So these are the first set. That's what I have to have. And now another parenthesis. I'm afraid I did not put the, the second parenthesis. So L1 and then plus 1 and then cubed and then tangent and then the square root and then list L1 and then plus 3, close the parenthesis outside of tangent, close the parenthesis again outside of tangent, I'm sure I didn't put it, and before I hit enter, I have to go to the mode, ha 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 ha, make sure that it's not in degrees, and it was. So I go back to my list, okay, I'm just checking uh, I'm going to do my list one more time just to make sure. 4, left parenthesis and another parenthesis again. So list L1 plus 1, a third power, tangent. And that's the square root of list L1 and then plus 3 and close the parenthesis outside and close this parenthesis, which I'm pretty sure I forgot the first time. Okay, so now after you rendered all that, and you can double check, you can plug in two in all this. And is it possible 14? I'm thinking, is it possible that I get uh, anything between 0 and 16? This has to be all positive. I did put correctly 2, 6, 10, 14. Yes, I did. I'm check I'm doing it again. So that's the outside parenthesis. And now again list L1 plus 1. Close the parenthesis. And that is at power 3. Okay. Maybe it doesn't like it because I didn't put the multiplication symbol. I'm gonna put tangent. And that's the square root of x plus 3, I'm sorry, of course not x, list L1 plus 3, I'm closing the parenthesis for tangent, and I'm closing the outside parenthesis because I want 4 to be distributed to each and every one of them. Okay, so uh, then we go to stat, and I go to calcul calculations, and I want one variable stats, and Make sure you have list L2 in there and calculate. Um, getting a different number. Of course, I am getting a different number because I, I, 
I, my mode was in uh, degree. I forgot that a minute ago I had to use it in degrees when I plugged in um, 46 degrees. Okay, so sorry about that. But I'm also going to check uh, at least one of these terms just to make sure. So I got 22524.7589. And I'm going to check uh, by hand. I don't think there is any error, but now once I, once I make a mistake, I check everything. So this one, this product I got is negative 137.7. The next one is negative 195.6. The next one is 2664.1, 2.0194. Okay, so I'm going to check by hand um, a couple of these. I'm going to check this four times. Um, six plus one uh, is seven, seven cubed. And then tangent of six plus three. So tangent, the square root uh, six times, yeah, that's uh, six plus three is nine, the square root of nine is three. I think it calculated something else. Insert, multiplied. Yeah, I'm getting this. Be very careful if you don't put the parenthesis. Uh, I knew that that was wrong. If you don't put the um, multiplication symbol between 4 and 7 cubed, it considers 47 cubed. So that's correct. I'm going to check one more just to make sure. So 4 uh, multiplied by 14 plus 1 is 15 to the third power. And uh, multiplied by tangent. Uh, and that's uh, the square root of 14 plus 3, which is 17. So the square root of 17. And I should get this number, 2194. And 102194 it is. OK, sorry about that. I completely forgot that. Uh, my uh, the mode was uh, in degrees. I I should have checked my mistake. So, do I need to go back over step by step over uh, the steps in uh, 